with you, okay, Wise. Brett Del Barba is live at the Riverbank Stadium in Jacksonville, Florida. Hey, Brett, what a game to watch. Rick, an absolute roller coaster ride. In the fourth quarter alone, Kentucky and Clemson com scored a combined 42 points with five different lead changes. As we take a look back at how it all unfolded in the fourth quarter, the Cats with three consecutive turnovers to start the fourth, and then finally, quarterback Devin Leary hit Barry on Brown for a 60 yard bomb. Brown, with his third touchdown of the day, put the Cats back on top 28. 27. After a 52-yard field goal for the Tigers, the Cats answered right back. It was Ray Davis who ran it in from one yard out, made it 35-30 Kentucky. Then Clemson put together an incredible 68-yard scoring drive, finishing it off with their guy Phil Maffa setting a Gator Bowl record with four touchdowns. And then Kentucky had a chance in the final seconds, but a Leary interception sealed it for the Tigers. 38-35 the final. A lot of fight from the Cats, but ultimately Kentucky came up just short. You know, we faced a lot of adversity and overcame it. And then uh, we did. You know, and, and then, you know, mistakes and uh, turnovers, penalties. There's a lot of things that you're not very proud of. So, um, you know, I, I you know, the, the bottom line is, is I greatly appreciate our team's approach. Um, the way they worked, uh, the way they did things uh, throughout the, the weeks leading up to this, the way they were down here, and the way they fought and uh, played a very tough game. Football, football is football. You know, you win some, you lose some, and, and, and there's not much to it. But I'm, I'm proud to be a part of this team. I'm proud that I played that game. And, you know, uh, being in the rest of my life, I'm going to be able to remember that and, and be able to know that I was part of a very historical game in a sense of just back and forth and, and uh, ups and downs, highs and lows. And knowing whenever adversity struck, we stepped up to the plate. And, again, that's what Coach Stoops have always preached to us is when adversity strikes, do you step up to the plate? And I think everybody on this team stepped up, took a swing, and, you know, no, unfortunately, we didn't get the result we wanted. A tough way to end the season for Kentucky with a 7-6 and six overall record, but still a lot to take away from this one as Kentucky heads into the new year and rebuilds for next season. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Britt Albarba, WLKY Sports. Yeah.